I'm good. Okay, so this is a, a new uh, multi-touch solution that we made. Uh, so what do we say here? We've based on uh, Migo 1.1 and we developed on top of this and came up with a user interface, uh, specifically de designed for multi-touch and also six, seven applications for the experience. So here's the user interface. And up we have a widget desktop. Just flick up, flick up, and to get to our icon interface here. And if we have a look at our applications, we have a bookshelf. This is going to open slowly because it's a hardware issue. Not yet optimized. So what's actually in this device? Is it Moorstown or...? It's... I think it is, yes. Let's open the media player. <coughs> and so this media player, we integrated music, video, internet radio, and also YouTube video. Music has the... The oh, jukebox. Cover yeah. for design. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I have a browser here for the viewer. Which has a typical set of functions, etc. You scroll left, right, Obviously, we can't. Because <laughs> it's a single touch to device, a, so you yeah. can't actually do the pinch and zoom stuff. We'd love to do that, but. Slideshow effects. All right, so we actually just checked out the tablet with the Migo Lidpost Lite on it. And right here we have a working version on an Intel-based Atom. That's an Atom right here? Absolutely. An Acer, Acer Aspire 1, as you can tell. So the interface that you see right here is actually done, done for multi-touch, but right now there's no devices with multi-touch or no tablets. Or there are actually tablets, but there are no um, netbooks with multi-touch screens except for HP Mini and a couple of others. So let's just take a tour around the UI then. Okay, as, as we mentioned before, we have a, just, we flick down for our widget desktop, flick back up again, and then we have a dynamic wallpaper here. If we go through the applications, so, what did we just say? Here's our browser. Okay, so we, we just go back here and then let's go to the bookshelf. Okay, and so we open a book. <laughs> And here we have the we flick them up, flick the pages across and then come backwards and forwards with them. Okay, if we go home here. Uh, if we go to notes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we want to write something, uh, we have th this is the uh, virtual keyboard we've developed ourselves. So actually, there's like 17 different virtual keyboards inside, so you need to change it depending on your language, which one you prefer to have. It's slow because we, yeah, we don't have a widget driver. Okay, we have a webcam, we have a setting center here. That's why we only can demo a very simple version here. 
Get the functions, the themes, we can even change the theme here. Okay, so as we mentioned, uh, we just had a look at the bookshelf, okay, the media player. Also, we have our notes function, webcam function, photos, photo viewer. I saw some games back there. Are they actually working? And can you show them to me? Or? I don't think they're working, no. Okay. Okay, as, as I mentioned before, what we've done here is we've integrated uh, is that radio and a YouTube video inside the media player function. But there's no Wi-Fi right here right now, you know? Yeah. And so we actually can check out the YouTube video. Yeah, no, that's right. So as I say, what we've done here, we tried to... This is based on Migo 1.1. Right. And we tried to be uh, kind of the head of the, the pack here. When we decided to develop this solution, the user interface and all the applications have been developed by ourselves uh, to make a, a true multi-touch uh, solution here based on Migo.